So example three, final example. We've got a US quarter on a turntable. Now the quarter is spinning at 1776 RPM, which is revolutions per minute and has a diameter of 24.26 millimeters. So 24.26 millimeters. So what will be the speed of a point on the edge of the quarter in meters per second? So to be able to do this in meters per second, we need to get everything in SI units. Right now, none of our stuff's in SI units, so we need to work towards that. So starting off, 1776 revolutions per minute. We'll put it as rev per min. So what would that be if we wanted to get this in seconds? Well, we divide that by 60, and that's going to give a, get us 1776 divided by 60 becomes 29.6 revolutions per second. But that's not equal to t. t is equal to that number flipped, because t is equal to 1 over 29.6, which is the number of seconds to the revolution. So how many seconds does it take to give you a revolution? So it takes 1 over 29.6 seconds per revolution occurs, which makes a lot of sense. If we get 29.6 revolutions in a second, then if we want to see how many seconds it takes to do that, we're going to have to flip it. We'll take the reciprocal. 1 over 29.6 is equal to 0.0338 seconds. So that's how long it takes to give us a single revolution. So what's the diameter? if we want that in SI units. Well, if your diameter starts off at 24.26 millimeters, then we're going to have this move over once to centimeters, another decimeters, and then finally to meters. So we're going to get 0 0.02426 meters. Now we've got the information we need to solve. So T is equal to your circumference, which is D times pi, or diameter, times pi, divided by the speed. We don't know the speed, but we do know t, and we do know our diameter, and pi is just a constant, so we can solve this now. So we've got a velocity, a speed, not a velocity. Remember, your velocity is constantly changing. We know that the velocity will always be tangential to the point we're looking at instantaneously, but our speed is the only thing that we can solve that will be truly constant. So your speed is equal to your diameter, 0 0.02426 meters times pi. Once again, I'm omitting units just for speed and ease, but I encourage you to keep them. Uh, divided by your speed, which is, oh, divided by the time it takes. Sorry, that's t we're looking at down here. So divided by 0 0.0338, which when we solve it using a calculator, we get 2.255 meters per second is the speed that a point on the edge is moving at. And that tells us the answer. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. And we'll see you again later when you come back to educator.com for the next lesson.